What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. This is the Until Next Time podcast. And like always, I am Nick, and this is my fellow host. Randy, what's up, baby boy? And today's podcast, we got the one and only Mr. Gabriel. It has been a journey, do I say, to get you on this pod right now. How you feeling today? Always, what are you? What are you munching on, bro? Tell tell the people. What what are you? This anticipation. It's so heavy. He's <laughs> he's just chewing so hard on some some mini some mini cream puffs. On some courtesy of a uh, Randolph the Black. Ooh. Oh, I've never heard that shit. Ooh. <laughs> so how are you doing today, bro? I'm doing good. You know. Are you are you ready for the pod? Yeah, a little nervous, a little excited. Yeah. Well, usually I tell this to everybody, but we we judge you at the end of it and see how good you did. But usually people are a little nervous in the beginning and then they're fine. But um, let me just get right into <coughs> it. What kind of guy is this guy? He's a good guy. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna s- go straight into his story, and then I you know we'll see see what you think of it or how you feel about it. So I've known this guy for years. And one time at the OG shed, shout out, he brought one of his, he brought like one of his homies or friends, just someone he like kind of knew, not know, not know too much. I forgot the guy's name was, what was his name? Uh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. So he brought this guy who's who's over, never seen him in my life. And um, (laughs) I was with my girlfriend at the time and like, you know, she's in pajamas and I'm in pajamas and all that. Like, it looks like, you know, she spent the night, whatever. And like. Like, we're all, like, next to each other. And, and, like, what he did, like, did he ask? Yeah, he, so he asked me. He asked me. He's like, hey, he's like, are they a couple? I'm not exactly sure how I worded it, but I was just like, he's like, yeah. He's like, he, but here's the weird thing. He's like, I told him, I was like, they're actually siblings. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's like, what? <laughs> he's like, them? They're brother and sister? And I was like, yeah. The thing is, I was, I was fucking around, but I completely forgot to tell him that I was joking. So to this day... <laughs> He's still, like, current walking around, probably still believing that. Like, he, he just has this memory, like, oh, I went over in these fucking, with these inbred motherfuckers. <laughs> so, like, if he if he ever saw the podcast down the line, he'd be like, hey, I know that guy. It's the guy that, you know. That like, fucks his sister. Fucks his sister. <laughs> 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 no, but didn't she say that, like, that same day when fucking Gabriel told him that, like, Angela was just very close to you that day? I I don't know why she's no, no. bleep it out regardless. Probably, she probably sat too. on your le- like yeah, your lap yeah. and she kissed you. I'm like, I should have looked at him and been like, "What, homeboy? You don't have your sister sitting on your lap?" The time I would glance over and he'd look at them fucking weird as <laughs> shit. Like he'd give them the weird like, like a, yo, like is this really happening? Type of look. Like is everyone just cool with this? Like. This, like, this is just what goes down in Valenda. And Jose was there, right? Yeah, Jose was so there. Like, Jose was helping me instigate. Yeah, He's like, so, yeah, like, you know. So, like, the fact of, like, that you guys are so cool with it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, you know, this is the yeah, homie. I mean, it's a little weird, but, like, you know, move past it. It's a thing. Yeah, like, know? this is the fucking homie. Like, you know, we have more treats out than usual. I don't, you know, I just don't know why, but. It's best if you crush them. <laughs> you just squeeze them, like, you, you, like that meme or whatever, like, where they're just squeezing food mm-hmm. and it's all out. Here, Randy, I feel like, you know, I've been, I've been talking, so you, you go right ahead. You bring some flavor. Last podcast, I was talking about how I eat a banana. Wait, <laughs> was that the last pod? <laughs> Where I was like, what I do is I, 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 I unpeel a banana and I crush it so it doesn't look gay. And I just lick it in between my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, dude. You single-handedly beat homosexuality. <laughs> I forgot what comedian said that. It was a female comedian. And she's all like, yeah, I just... So so it doesn't look like I'm sucking a dick when I eat a banana. I like to crush it and lick it through my fingers. No, dude, the best way is just to put it sideways and just bite it, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like to I like to paint it pink and then make it like a hot dog so no one knows. Or just, like, close your teeth and just, like, mash it <laughs> into your mouth. <laughs> just push it all <laughs> Yeah, just push it in. in. I mean, like, what if you just do one clean slick of the tongue glock and it's just <laughs> gone? <laughs> <laughs> you know if you do it so quickly you know it's it's disputable like you can't be like oh that was gay because it was so fast you're like did it really even happen you know <laughs> it's not gay it was impressive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly at that point it's just the, it's just the talent like 
like you know you're ever watching porn and she you know she's just glocking him up and you're just like like <laughs> damn like this isn't even sexual this is like a goddamn sport like, like, <laughs> get him or her a gold medal who's better at sucking dick probably guys right you know some of these girls could probably like <laughs> Do like contests for like holding their breath underwater because holy shit, they're not like getting a breath of air. <laughs> exactly, they could be Olympic swimmers. Olympic swimmers. <laughs> but okay, do you think guys suck dick better or girls? <laughs> Men or women? Qu- I mean, that's a hard question. I wouldn't know because you know I've never had a guy suck my dick. Yeah. If anybody's yeah. down to volunteer, give me my first experience after the pod. <laughs> it's twenty. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty twenty two. We're open to ideas. Twenty twenty two. Anyways, but, like, you would kind of assume that a guy would be better at it because they know, like, what the, how they want their dick to be sucked. Hey, hey, we know what men want. Exactly, you know, but. <laughs> we know men. <laughs> <laughs> so what is from fucking Tropic Thunder where he's all like, oh, uh, just gargle your balls, <laughs> stroke the shaft and swallow the gravy. I, like, I feel like, have you ever just, lo- like, spe- on the subject of porn itself, <laughs> Have you ever just looked at a porn and just go, I don't know how the fuck this guy's lasting this long. Like, the second she would have done it, I've already would have given up. It's probably really loose. (laughs) 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 Getting straight facts out the gate. But literally, I think this, ever since we came back and doing the podcast, like, with no, like, episode numbers, we've been talking about porn and sex for literally the last six episodes. Like It's important. It's something you can't, (laughs) like, you know, there's no... There's no end to where you can go with porn and, um, like, you know, it's just, it's, it's a limitless. spectrum. It's a spectrum. Wow. We're fucking, we're progressive. Look at us. Progressive. <laughs> you know, high school us, different story, but you know, like, this is progressive. Grown. You know what that, what I call that? Progress. And that's what I call progress. <laughs> Shout out Roar. <laughs> Speaking of when we were in high school, um, do you remember how our school would have these little meetings during lunch and there would be like a speaker or something? And one time there was like, OK, I think oh, Jose, Jose went <coughs> and the old homie. We might have been there. <coughs> remember, it was like the old man for like Felix Adventures. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And oh, then, like, and, and he had a fucking boner or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, Jose was like, Jose was like, that fool had a boner where he was telling this <laughs> shit. And like. Remember, like, he kind of looked like the guy from Up, but he was, like, all yeah, scrunched. Yeah, and we're and all like, like, he's like, you see? <laughs> like, yeah, it's like, it looked like, yeah, that's right. And then we because I was in Felix Ventures. <laughs> we're all like, Felix. Dude, we're all, we're all like, we're all like, oh, yeah, come on, kids. Come on a trip with me. Like, <laughs> let's go see the world together. <laughs> Jesus. And then um, I remember, I think it was it during that one where we had lunch detention, so we went there on purpose because then, like, you know, we thought we would get away with it, but they still got us. And where we slipped out? Yeah, where we – no, no, not when we slipped out. Like, we were hearing the presentation to skip out on lunch detention. Was it that guy or was it the other one with the military guy when when we kept asking him, like, so what if there's a draft? What if there's a draft? <laughs> no, it was, it was the Felix Ventures. Oh, okay. Felix Ventures. Because the, the, the draft one, we had to be there. But yeah. he, there will be no draft. Yeah, all these little fucking kids. We'll see. We'll – We'll see if he was right. You know, oh, shit's shit. cracking soon. So. <laughs> no, he's he's at home right now. And he's like, there will be no draft. It was just some, like, uptight asshole real quick. And he's just like, the, all these little kids, which were probably assholes, too. They're like, like teacher, teacher, teacher. Like, or like <laughs> sir, sir, like, what if there's a draft? We just what kept saying, like, draft? what if? Like, well, what if we run out of soldiers? Like, da-da-da-da-da, you know, like, when we fucking need people to, to go in there for us. There will be no draft. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Like, you didn't even give us a fucking answer. Just that fool, he had the, like, he was about it. Like, he had the confidence. <laughs> there will be no draft. If if there is a draft, I'm going to go looking for him. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, there's like a, I know it's crude to be bringing this shit up. TikTok, there's a famous TikTok going on right fucking now. About some soldier talking shit about like pretty much everyone on the app saying like there is no draft there will no be dr- there will not be a draft like fucking he's all, like eighty like he was giving us st- like is. he was giving us st- yeah, probably <laughs> is. he was giving us statistics like oh you know like sixty percent of you are under like overweight and then like this and and, he's, <laughs> <laughs> and then like I'm pretty sure you can't run you can't do this you can't do this and I'm pretty sure a lot of you smoke weed and then like some guy like stitched it like replied and goes like what the draft. <laughs> uh. 
I look like a jackass. <laughs> just like this, this, this man. Cut. This, this this man drafting people who smoke weed and are cool. Damn, man, I don't want to be part of that fucking war. And then like, was, I know I just nonchalantly said it. You derailed the whole story. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> these, these last uh, couple episodes, bro, what's been up with you? You've been, fo- been letting off. shit slip out like, oh, hell no. Listen, bro, you said no more dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there will be no draft, dude. So I don't even know why we were going on. Yeah, eat your fucking cream puff, dude. <laughs> eat your fucking cream Live puff, Live to dude. the statistic. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, it's like, come on, you don't have to be underweight to fucking fire a gun <laughs> or get in a tank. Like, you know, just That's fucking true, just yeah. put me in a plane. Well, you know what? Every school shooter's been skinny. <laughs> there was, um, <laughs> and they got the, well, you know, they don't have the best, like, aim. Pay money, uh, pay money, <laughs> Wubby. He, uh, I think he went to Vegas to go into tanks and he couldn't fit in one of them because he was too fat. I could see that. So, like, he just had to stand in it. Like, he couldn't go through the little, like, crawl space. So, <laughs> so, so that uh, guy was right. <laughs> I don't... Is he that fat? <laughs> I Dude, guess he's like he a is. ball, bro. He's built like a hamster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> shout, shout out pay money, Wubby. <laughs> um, would you like to explain to the people at home what are bad boy chickens? All right. So, I have an ongoing... Actually, you know, I'm a lot better about it now. But me and this man right here had a really hard addiction to something we like to call bad boy chickens. Bad boy chickens. And they're pretty much um, <coughs> the blazing wings at B-dubs. The, the blazing wings, wings at B-dubs. Any spicy wings. Remember Alondra's wings, though? Those were bad boy chickens. I remember, to be honest. must have not been that hard. Remember? remember okay, you told me, like, hey, hey, I left you a chicken tender in the fridge. And it was like, I was like, oh yeah, you're like it's super spicy though. And I was like, oh all right, and remember? No, that wasn't Alondra's. That was um. Oh, no, 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 that was down the street, right? Yeah, hot chicks. Yeah, that's a bad boy chicken, right? I feel like that defines yeah, that one, a bad that boy chicken. Those, are, those are pretty fucking strong, dude. Like, oh, it got broken into, huh? What did? Oh, that place got broken into. Why? I, fucking some asshole. Like literally just last week, it was on IG. I they stole, got, their, stole their fucking I thought, I thought recipe. I I stole the secret formula. The, <laughs> I was mixing up the chicken place you were talking oh, about. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll get to that. Um, no, no, yeah. That the place where you got that chicken tender. By the way, that chicken tender fucked me up while I was at work. I was like, yeah, dude, that shit fucks your stomach up. You I had, the, feel I had it. the bubblies. You feel it. Only eat scared. those. Only eat those if you got like the uh. next day off or something. No, no, but um, yeah, it got broken <laughs> into. They were they didn't get any money or anything. Oh yeah, they sold the tablets in the front, like just some. Why would you leave them in the front? Oh, no, it's the order tablets. The, oh, that's fucked up, man. But um, no, no, no. Fucking. You know, chicken ass. now, right there on Belinda. They closed. Yeah, dude. I fucking we were me and this guy were driving. And we drove by, and it's like a fuck. I think it might be a ramen place now. No way. Like a little like because it had I, I forgot what, what was it called. It had like a little egg symbol like that you see in ramen or some shit. Look at, <laughs> yeah, was, I don't know what it was called, but it was just like, why the fuck is there an egg right there? Look yeah, like I looked, I woke. It's like I blinked and it was just gone. It, it was a sunny side a- up egg. Oh, <laughs> it was just, shit. What the fuck? Look at little Belinda moving on up. Oh. Next thing yeah. you know, Soto soap. Stater Brothers will become a um, Whole, Whole Foods. Foods. Uh, yeah. be, like, be like, look. Oh, our little town, so <laughs> progressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, we have our first gay couple. <laughs> like, oh, wow, our little gay couple in this our little so small cool. town. <laughs> so cool. And that's, you know, South Park for those who don't know. And that's and that's, that's what we what call, call progress. progress. Okay. <coughs> Is there anything you want to, you, you know, you want to tell them? If they are having the mic a bit. Do we have any stories that are ridiculous? We do, but before that, I just want to apologize because um, we got we got a Happy Meal for Mason the other day, and it came with a fucking Donkey Kong racer. Like, they have a Mario Kart Happy Meal, and I was going to bring it for the pod, and it's <laughs> at home. Yeah, I, I didn't tell you this, but we were going to start doing, like, every time we get a guest, we could see if they can bring something that we can leave here and start adding. That actually sounds fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. And we shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and we shit the bed. So hopefully okay. you guys will see it next pod. Sorry, I couldn't bring it. It's all right, brother. As long as you came, that's what's important. <laughs> you know what? I will bring this up where me, you, Brandon, and Christian went karaoke singing. And we kind of got a little buzzed. And the best thing we did was sing Weezer together. <laughs> I 
I don't even remember what songs we sung. We know. said we sang "Say It Ain't So." Say it ain't so. <laughs> dear, wait, is it like, dear daddy, I'll write you in spite oh my of God. shit you cleaned up. Found oh. Jesus. I remember because the I bottle. Fuck, I found I found like a heavy um song. Like I found some heavy songs to cover, and people were like looking in like we were fucking freaks. Like you know. <laughs> We we know. kept we kept singing the bottle part. This bottle <laughs> of Steven. <laughs> Did you want to say something? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> like um, I was thinking about like how uh, how like fucking we have like we. I have a lot of stories with this guy. I'm just going to say that right now. Pretty sure he knows this too. But the thing is, I can't really recall one immediate one. Do you have one on you right now? I don't. See? That's the like only thing I can think of is that one time we were at lunch <laughs> and there's like a chip bag stuck in the vending machine. And like, I just started like, at first I just, I was like punching it, you know? And the next thing you know, I like started full body slamming into it. And we just started like rocking it, like <laughs> smashing into it. And uh, the the vice um, principal came by and he was like, "What the hell are you boys doing?" And I was just like, "Chip, <laughs> chip, <laughs> chip." <laughs> like, um, I just wanna I wanna thank this guy for really pulling me out because I love him. I'm still, you know, I'm really gonna I'm just gonna be really serious right now. I love oh, this guy pulling you out. I never pulled you out. Pulling me out of my own little yeah. side depressions, kicking with me. I love you, brother. You've been there for me. I'm saying it right now. But I will say this though. Yeah, they're hard, dude. Don't leave me hanging out. I'm look really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though. Whenever we need to talk shit about someone, we're always on it. I feel like that's our best thing. Some dude, some dude just needs to be talking. Like we just need to talk so much shit about someone. I mean, you're always the first people. Dude, people we're like on fucking it. dogs. Like you know, like once one person jumps on a certain person, it's just fucking just just and. It's just back and forth. We're just talking shit on them. <laughs> that sounds like some horrible ass people. <laughs> it's like bullying. I know. No, it's having fun. <laughs> it's, it's, having fun. It's, it's all fun, thing, fun and games, dude. It's yeah. all. It's, as long as the homies don't get their feelings hurt, it's all good. <laughs> no, like well, everyone will be like at each other's throats about some stupid shit, and then like. Like some random person on the street will do something dumb when it's like we all just turn our heads and like fuck that dumb <laughs> yeah, motherfucker you idiot. <laughs> yeah. And then we drive away and we're like, yeah. No <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember coming back? Where were we coming back from? Like uh we were coming back up from Stater Brothers and we jay no, we didn't jaywalk. Some guy just turned into the street quickly. He's all like, Don't make me line you guys up and knock you guys out. Oh no, it's because um Fuck, what did he do? He do, you, do you remember that? It was like five of us. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were walking to the liquor store. Um, I think some asshole, he was like, he fucking ran the light, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, he it, was our, it was our, like, shit to go. Yeah, and then so we all, like, all five of us just, ah! he just, like, officially <laughs> yelled, and then, uh. <laughs> <laughs> just like, don't make me line you guys up and knock you. <laughs> uh, I look like a jackass. <laughs> Step out of the fucking vehicle, bitch. Done, this dude. is saying shit. You started saying shit. <laughs> dude, that guy, remember that guy looked like DJ Khaled. I was like, man, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, DJ Khaled. <laughs> yeah. Khaled, Khaled. No, okay, now I know is. what our favorite thing to do is. Everyone will have like a serious, everyone's trying to like have a serious debate. And me and Randy will just say stupid random shit, like to like to, to, to deter the topic, and like we just won't let anyone get their point across. Just to derail it. Something's in the way. What are your thoughts on the Batman? The you Batman. didn't like it? Oh, okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts? I liked it. Could have probably been like 20, 30 minutes shorter. <laughs> yeah. I thought it, was, thought it was really good. There were some elongated scenes. The only thing, my biggest complaint that I just really have it, there was no bat sex. I really wanted to see Zoe Kravitz get pounded, you know, for the culture. <laughs> I even said a name. If you're watching this, 
should start an OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm I was. I told Nick. Like, I stopped everything I did, and I told this dude, bro, I don't give a fuck what's happening in Gotham, bro. I clapped the shit out of her. Yeah. She but I will. I will say she this. Made me act up. Oh, you know. <laughs> fuck it. I was no. I was just gonna say like someone posted a picture, and it's like it's like you know like. Batman's too good for Gotham. I'd let the city burn for her when she <laughs> looks at me like that. <laughs> okay, one thing though, I felt like I felt like there was like fucking like the way they set up their relationship or whatever. I felt like there was like this tension where you just never knew if it was gonna just break out into a sex scene. <laughs> yeah, or he told me that like, before I seen it. Yeah. <laughs> um the the only thing I didn't like about it, legit, and it's not even a big deal. Was um I don't know if you would remember because it was just one scene. It was um one of the officers, like it wasn't Gordon. It was the other officer that was talking to Batman, and it's like he had like a really thick like it almost seemed like a stereotypical like mob. Italian mob accent. Oh, he's like you're gonna let this freak in here, like yeah, 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 yeah type like, of like, like I don't know. You come, you come, you come to my daughter. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding, asking for a favor. But we we're all like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like Batman, look what you've done. You made all my officers piss themselves. <laughs> now that is unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> you call yourself justice. Look at them. They're all pissing the shit into that room over there. <laughs> the terrified Batman. Because, like, you, you remember the part when he's, like, he's waking back up, and they, like, they scare him. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. like yeah. No, he gets up and he goes, <laughs> 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 All right, like, in that part, like, that was, like, just his accent alone. Like, I couldn't stop talking about it. I really like that scene in Batman because, you know, that was a, uh, what, what is it called? It's, um, it, it wasn't part of the script. Improvised? It was improvised. They, they actually drugged Robert Pattinson. <laughs> <laughs> and he woke up from a high just uh, <laughs> like swinging at people. <laughs> it's funny because he, pu- he pushed the officer. I'm like, oh, well, this, is, <laughs> this is about to get taken down by the whole fucking squad. But now this dude was fighting back all of them. Okay, one thing I got to say is that Officer Gordon kind of looked like Mac. And Lisa In Batman. blackface. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I'm so sorry. I told Nick this. I told him he doesn't. What the fuck? I want, I want side-by-side comparisons. I genuinely do, too. I'm, just Maybe getting, I'm, you know. t- I'm getting too old for this crap. <laughs> 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 you know what? I, I to give an honest rating, I, Batman, because like how like they got in the dark direction. I actually give it a ten out of ten. I think the only thing that I, I think he did a horrible Bruce Wayne. I'm saying it. I think he didn't do. He was a douchey little angsty kid. I yeah. I felt like I mean, I, isn't Bruce Wayne a little bit more like on it too? Like to be honest, I've never read the comics, but all I gotta say it was kind of like it wasn't a bad take on it because it's like you know like. Bruce Wayne in um the Christopher Nolan series, the trilogy, he's kind of just like, ah, man, who gives a fuck that my parents die? Like, I'm a billionaire. I get bitches every day. Well, it's like, yeah, that, that, like, you know, he's like, a he's a billionaire playboy ph- th- philanthropist okay, or whatever. Th- <laughs> get me? Like, <laughs> yeah. That type of shit. So it's like when this dark and brooding fucking asshole listening to My Chemical Romance is in the he, corner. He does. <laughs> you can just tell it. Like, it's so funny because the scene where he's like, he's looking through the camera, like from the fucking eye camera. He's just like. <laughs> you know, you know, he's the type of guy to like. You know, set up his speaker in the restroom, just like curl up in a ball butt naked in the shower and just fucking think about things. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> nah, the um, <clears throat> the real question is what do you think about the Batman pizza from Little Caesars? Batman pizza. The, Batman the actual pizza was kind of ass, but the calzones were pretty good and I got a poster out of it. Bat calzissi. Bat calzissi. <laughs> Hell no. Say that? Bat Calzissi. You know what? <laughs> Pull up a picture and look at the fucking calzone. You know what I'm saying? You can probably do some gross things to that calzone if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Get extra cheese, you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you, guys add, you could add your own cheese on there if you'd like. Well, I was going to say, yeah, the pizza was hella greasy and disgusting, but the calzone was the good part, but not not the, the fact that y'all want to fuck it. <laughs> I didn't say I want to fuck it. I said you can fuck it. I'm letting the viewers out there know, just in case. Listen, bro. Listen, hopefully let's, they let's still got time. You know, like hopefully they still have time to get the pizza <laughs> w- before this is posted, because you know, like yeah, I don't want them to miss out. It's you know, like, if that's on, what they're on, into. On pizza sex. Um, you know, like <laughs> it's like 
The grease will be like a natural lube. <laughs> Garlic. <laughs> we let it cool down. Don't go straight fucking in there, you know? Just I don't know, bro. Give it a few it's minutes. like, if I'm going to fuck a pie, I want it warm. <laughs> like, <laughs> a moment of silence <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, James, it's the, it's the pie fucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're never gonna forget who you are. You're the guy who fucked the pie. Shout out, James Simon Bob. <clears throat> so, what are your thoughts for UFC 274? That is Charles Oliveira versus Justin Gaethje and Tony Ferguson versus Michael Chandler. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts, journeyman? I want, I want Gaethje to lose. Gaethje I, to I have lose. very mixed. Uh, Opinion, because like, okay, like if Geishi actually wins, there's a chance that Dustin could actually come back and get the the title, title you know, just so he can hold it and just, you know, if he can't defend it, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, he's he's done it as long as he gets it. Yeah, exactly. But um, it's like I feel like I feel like Charles could probably do it, because like you know, Geishi doesn't have like a really strong ground game, but. He fucking eats shots, man. You know that joke you go always fucking make, like, oh no, dude, that's what he does. He just gets his ass beat in the first <laughs> round and then yeah. he comes back. That's literally Charles Oliveira. He does that shit, like, and it's crazy. Shout like. out, uh, Clay, Clay Guida. Am I, am I, uh, am I, okay, Gaethje is the guy that fights on top of mountains, yes, right? That's the guy. Fuck yeah. That, that motherfucker right there, I hope he wins. I don't know anything about Oliveira. Oliveira, he like, um, he looks like a, like Tony Ferguson, but like um, Brazilian. Brazilian, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could with say. The, with the with the with the fucking Colgate smile. Well, what do you think about? Oh, uh, well, do you think do you think Dustin would uh, get the title shot um, if he does fight Nate Diaz and beats him? Like he'll be like right there to the t- title shot, or do you think that wouldn't? I even, mean, like, count? they could do that, but like to be honest, it's not like. Not to be fucked up, no disrespect to Nate Diaz. He's actually, like, a tremendous fighter. Like, I love that he always puts on performance every time. He's a true fucking warrior. But right now, at this point in his career, unless it's a knockout, it's not that much of a, like, you know, if it's a decision one, it's not that much of a bragging right. Mm, to be like, yeah, I beat Nate Diaz. Because if you knock him out, then you could be like, yeah, I fucking knocked out Nate Diaz. And they're like, all right, this motherfucker hits hard. You know? True, true. I mean, look, look, Dustin blew up because he knocked out Conor McGregor. You know what I mean? Not, he it added more to it. it. You know what I mean? He was already big as it is, but it added more to it. So he knocked out that little fucking one-legged leprechaun. <laughs> 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 you out there playing? I'm just kidding, Conor. Don't touch come and hit me. Touch with those <laughs> dorks in the park. <laughs> think, no. you got, you think got it all figured out <laughs> when you're fighting midgets? <laughs> 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 but um. <laughs> Okay, so what about Tony Ferguson and Michael Chandler? So, obviously, you know, like, Michael Chandler, he hits fucking hard. But he also he doesn't have, like, that much of a gas tank. And his chin isn't that impressive either. Um, I honestly think that Tony could win this. I'm not saying he will fucking win this. But I'm saying he actually has a shot in this. You know, it's not, it's not like, impossible for him. I'm sure that Mike's going to come in fucking crazy, like, the first round. But I think if Tony survives the first round, he can... Wear him out, you know. He's got he's he's really he's got really fucking mean elbows, you know. It's like how he does most of his damage, and um, you know when Chandler gets tired, it's harder for him to g- grapple. So that's another way he could lose. I'm really rooting for um, for Ferguson, you know. Like at this point, I really used to like Chandler, but at this point, he won't shut the fuck up, and he has a really dumb take on everything, and he thinks that everybody gives a fuck, and it's like, bro, you're like one in three. In the UFC one and three or one and two one and two one and two. I'm telling you, bro, he came to the big dog. Now, <coughs> real quick, any of these people that we're talking about, they could come in here and kill us all. Yeah, but no, yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. Um, who do you th- who do you think has more to lose? Um, I'm gonna say Ferguson. Has I'm gonna say Ferguson. You know, because like, the man is a stubborn bastard. You know, like he just wants to fucking fight. Like he doesn't know. Like, I, I feel bad for him because, like, you know, say he loses this and the UFC cuts him. He's not going to know what to do with himself. Like, he's not going to want to stop training and fighting. Like, he just doesn't know how to stop. The man just fucking keeps going. Kind of like what happened with, like, Anderson Silva. Kind of, yeah. Kind of yeah. like Anderson Silva. Like he just kept like, going you know, and like, was losing a lot. It wasn't really, like. If Chandler loses, 
I feel like the UFC won't cut him. He's a fucking journeyman. <laughs> He's a journeyman. He's a journeyman, dude. He oh, he puts up a hell of a fight, you know, every time. But he's yeah. just not a not he, a UFC he was Bellator title holder. champion. But yeah, but Bellator ain't UFC, baby. That's very true. So he's just gonna be a journeyman. He's gonna be a fucking journeyman. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, can I talk about the golf course story? You can say no. It's fine. I understand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I just like, that was the old me. Okay. And I don't know how many, like, people I know watch this. Yeah. I'm not too proud of that story. Okay. <laughs> I've done some fucking weird shit in my life. Yeah. And that is quite literally a weird shit. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. No. Nah. You want me to fucking tell it, dude. Okay. So this is all just this is all my big build up. But um so there's allegedly this golf course by our house that allegedly has a broken gate that allegedly in when you go into the broken gate there's a broken fence allegedly. And uh allegedly we used to always sneak in there and we would steal the flags. You know about that, right? Yeah, we would steal the flags. It's like Call of Duty. Like, yeah, like Call of Duty. Or like Halo. And um, I've been stealing these flags since I was fifth grade smoking cigarettes there. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember we went. It was that night? Yeah, we went at night. It was late. It was me, you, Brandon, Ho- Jose? Jose, Adon. Yeah, I know Brandon was there, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, Brandon was there. And like I remember, we we took the flag, and then we're like, we're like, oh, what else should we do? And then who said it? How did it happen? Oh, uh, it happened because I was like, ah, oh, fuck! I was like, I really need to take a shit, but I don't want to go back because I'm not gonna go on and come back in. Oh, okay. And then I was like, I, dude, I fuck it, I'm gonna take a shit here. And then somebody was like, dude, shit in the golf hole, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, fuck it, you know. And I fucking hole in one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was funny is like we ran first. He did it. I think it was just you and Brandon, right? Like Brandon stood nearby, you know, getting your back. Jose took a picture of my shit. No, see, I thought you took no, a picture. No, no, Jose. And then took you said a- and then you said, "Oh, here's proof and you showed no, me." No, Jose and there's took fucking a- shit in the hole. Jose took a picture of my shit. I fucking showed it to you guys. And then Jose was like, oh, what the fuck? I don't want this shit on my phone. And I was just like, bro, why'd you take it then? Like, you know, nobody told it you was, to take it. It was the photo. proof. It was the evidence. Here's the photo. No, I'm not <laughs> We still have the photo. Okay. So. So, okay. So you admitted to it. You owned up to it. That yeah. story happened. I wiped my ass with, like, the wet leaves. <laughs> it was, like, so that. cold that there was, like, there was, like, dew on the leaves. And I was like, fuck it. Like, they were, like, oak leaves. So they were big enough to wipe my ass with. Uh, it's pretty gross and then i went home and took a shower so here's the biggest story of them all see now for you to admit that see it categorize you but you said that's the old you yeah right so okay probably wouldn't do that okay let you know it's the old you it's the past i understand people change <sighs> did you <laughs> piss in the corner at big bear all right stop the fucking in podcast. the car co- in the cabin stop the fucking did you podcast. do it no. Did you Did do you it? guys find fucking piss in the corner? But <laughs> No, I want to I want that answer. Q- QC, did you're, you guys you're find next. piss in the corner? Nah, nah, nah. Answer my question. Okay, I'm going to speak for QC. He could correct me if I'm wrong. QC said that he was hearing some shit, like he heard like Everybody know, like, says that's okay, what they heard. Okay, and okay. then QC's like Nick. And I'm like, "What? Like I hear it too, but it didn't wake me up." Like you know, t- it didn't catch my attention. And he's like, I say, like, I think Gabriel's pissing in the corner. And I'm like, I'm like, what? And I fucking look and you're in the corner and it looks like you got, you got your hands on your Johnson, bro. And and I swear I hear the, s- and then you stop and they're like, I just, are you fucking pissing no, in the corner? No, this is what you said. You, I actually remember you saying this vividly. You're like, Gabriel, are you aware of what you're <laughs> fucking doing right now? <laughs> And I was just like, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Chill the fuck out. Like, <laughs> and then like, I was like, it's, we all started laughing. We're like, he's fucking pissing in the corner. And you're like, oh yeah, I'm fucking pissing in the corner. You guys are fucking dumb as fuck. Fucking stupid motherfuckers. And you know what? Was there piss in the corner the next day? Bro. Did it smell? I have reason. All right. Before I go, 
and pass it to him. There was not piss in the corner. The floor. But we, but we, we put it together. We sat there. We, we've done a lot of brain time. We're saying that there was a bag. There was a bag. I'm thinking because you know it wasn't too high of the of the little blockade falling off. I think you peed over. It went over the wall to the so like you know what I mean. So it's like you were peeing over the wall, but it was making the sound that was hitting the wall. That's the what that's what I was thinking the whole time. Okay, see, see, this is the thing. Your guys' stories aren't consistent. Like I heard someone says it hit the wall. Someone said it hit the carpet. Someone said it hit the bag. No, we, me, I think me and Kesey came to conclusion that you pissed in a bag and then threw the bag away in the bathroom. Where? Like downstairs. you guys would have seen it though. No, we would have never looked guys, for a bag. You guys would have smelt though. it. I would have seen it. I took a shit the next morning. <laughs> that, I actually <laughs> took a shit in that restroom, and the fucking smell, like a beer piss, smells fucking gross. Then you must have moved it somewhere else. I just, I must have just drank it. And I just can't fucking flush the fucking bag. <laughs> I down. can't live my life. Did you piss in the corner? I didn't fucking piss in the you corner. You didn't piss in I the didn't corner. Piss in the then fucking what the corner. fuck did I hear? I fu- I was spitting. <laughs> What did I hear, QC? What did everybody hear? You pissing in the corner. Exactly. But you know what? Who can prove it? So get the fuck out of here. (laughs) The the funniest shit is, like, I wasn't upstairs with you guys, but I hear, all I heard was, Gabriel. And I look up because I'm downstairs on the sofa and I'm like, what's going on up there, guys? And then then I went downstairs and I took a piss in the restroom. (laughs) And then all I hear is this food. Gabriel just pissed in the fucking corner. Did you not hear that? I was just like, no, I heard Gabriel. <laughs> it's funny because I don't even, I don't remember standing in the corner. I just remember arguing with you guys. So you were, <laughs> so what you were doing, you were Blair witching it. I was Blair witching it. At the end Honestly, of the that was a, that was an astral project- projection of myself. <laughs> so like you guys just saw what I wanted you to yeah, see. It was the woods. The woods were haunting us, bro. It was the woods. I always said that house. You know was who it was? Creepy. It was the witches. They followed us, bro. You know, okay. Ever since here's the Lucania. fucking truth. Adrian was in the corner. I was pissing into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll send this clip to Adrian. <laughs> so, I guess it will forever be one of the world. Like you know, like who built the pyramids? Exactly. Who well, shot actually, JFK? I, I think we do know who built the pyramids. Who pissed in the corner? <laughs> where was the piss? <laughs> yeah. Where did the piss go? Where what if I was? Just, what if I was just in the restroom? No, you weren't, bro. But it was dark as shit. Everybody visually saw you in the I'm corner. sorry. Lee Harvey always old. That's who killed JFK. Oh no, God. sorry, bro. You just had it. I'm sorry. You just you So what? Up. We know who built the fucking pyramids. It was Egyptians. The slaves. Okay. Yeah. 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 The witches from Azusa Canyon. They fucking did it. Huh? The witches in Azusa Canyon yeah, haunted you, bro. The they, they made him. They made an illusion Dude, of this man. You know what? <laughs> That's that's something that we should talk about, like the weird stuff we've seen at the canyons. So we went hiking. I, it was just so random. It was Brandon's uh, car. Uh, like uh, he just got the car. It was me, you, Adrian, and Brandon. Brandon just got his fucking Ford. Is it a Ford? It's a Ford, right? Yeah. yeah. And we ju- we just drove up the canyon, making fun of like how his brakes smell like hot dog water. Yeah, hot dog water. <laughs> then like uh, we didn't make it to the tippy top yet. We stopped at this little like little side off. And we were just like, hey, we should just fucking walk around here. And, like, you guys wanted to smoke and we wanted to take some pictures. It was literally, I, I have a, I think I have a couple of pictures of that day. And um, we were just walking, following the stream down because you guys just, you guys just smoked a bowl. And we we're like, oh, let's just go all the way down. You know, like, we can, there's like a, you said there was like a, a house almost. Like a little, yeah. f- like these little fucking camp houses that are just like torn down and shit. Abandoned cabins. So you wanted to see them. We started walking down, and then that's when we noticed, like, um, like we it was quiet as fuck, and we we're like, "Oh, look, a house!" You know, like, like four or five ladies dressed in robes, holding red candles holding in red the middle candles. of the river. One of them was like facing a rock, and they were on a circle. And um, and then as soon as we fucking got like within like a certain distance of them, it's like we disturbed their fucking peace. Like, like they all, all just, they the all pigeon head the us. same second, like in exactly. in it was synchrony. Fucking creepy. Like, like these was, guys, these these chicks were just a like, fucking pigeon head to head us, but like angry as fuck. I I honestly thought we were gonna become like a fucking like Blair Witch horror movie type shit. Like just. I thought I thought we were gonna die for a second. I was like, "All right, guys, let's get the fuck out of here." I was already legit like, uh, 
But then at the same time, I was like, I could take one of these fucking old ladies. I like, was <laughs> just like, bro, I'll drop kick a fucking kid right now. I am afraid. Just, there's rocks right But like, here, they, were, they were literally in just, the middle of the river. Like, the fucking river's rushing, and they're just in their whole, like, re- holding yeah. red candles. Yeah, they're standing in the water. Just staring at well, us. Two of them were standing in the water, and three of them were on the, the shoreline or whatever. Uh, it was early, early early in the fucking morning, and it was the day a- b- after Halloween, I believe. Yeah, dude. Like, I remember we, that we found dead chickens and shit. No, we found a dead kitten. Kitten? Yeah, it was a kitten. Because we saw feathers. Oh, there was also feathers, but we didn't see the chicken, so we but can't confirm But I, I was, was saying it was chicken feathers because I've seen chicken because I'm beaned up. I just I saw chicken feathers. True beaner right here. <laughs> um, yeah, no, there was also a dead kitten on the stream. There was, like someone killed a kitten and put it. Like on a rock in the middle of the water, it was really fucked up. It was sad. Like, it's a trip. Like the shit. Like and I hear Suzy Canyon still does like a bunch of shit like this. But like, what do you? What do you think? Like, what do you? You when you're you, <laughs> me when you're girl, when you. you. <laughs> Anyways, um, what did you think they were doing out there? Like realistically, you know what I mean? There was a house and there was a blue car with fire decal. I remember that 100%. They were in front of a house like that was like hidden off in the trees. Wait, the witches? The, yeah, the witches. I don't remember that. So the witches were just selling crack. <laughs> <laughs> the witches. <laughs> it sounds like some Breaking Bad type card and shit. The witches no, were selling crack and they were pissed because we were smoking <laughs> weed. So they knew that we weren't a potential it was customer. The, they, they were right next to an actual cabin. Like one of the cabins right next to the river. And there was a blue car with red. I mean with a fire fucking decal on I the front. I don't think that was there though. So. Dude, I, well, I, well I'm just saying that's where it was. So I'm oh, guessing okay, like okay. it could. If it was there, that's their fucking cabin. It'd be whipping. <laughs> they're whipping <laughs> but um yeah like just so i genuinely think what those witches were doing was stealing our image and that day our image when gabriel supposedly pissed in the corner it was not him it was an yes. illusion of him pissing in the corner which was not real piss you were innocent Fuck this. Thank you. This man's Thank innocent. You. Nah, bro. Put the mic down. I got in trouble, too. <laughs> but it was an illusion. So they said some kid got beat up at a college room, and they said I was the big Mexican that did it. <laughs> that wasn't me. It was Had to have been an illusion. That all makes sense now. No, bro. The, the fucking grand jury. Look, dude, I don't care if you're innocent. You're guilty in my book. <laughs> like, there you go. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> yeah, they're not no. they're not frozen no more, bro. Uh before we go, do you do you want to do the thing that you wanted to do? What what do I want? Can right I get it right in front of you? Tissue? Anyways, guys. Um thank you for tuning in. We've been wanting this episode to happen for a long fucking time. <laughs> I'm so happy you finally got here. Everybody give a round of applause to Gabriel. And Gabriel, before we go, is there anything you would like to say to the audience? And I just need confirmation. Like, <laughs> straight miss. All right, Gabriel, is there anything and any advice? Final, final advice. You got to grab the mic, because we usually do that. Uh, final advice. I don't have anything. I'm not a good influence. <laughs> If anybody ever accuses you for pissing in the corner, you take that shit to the grave. Oh yeah, make them touch the make them touch the carpet if they're so sure that you did it. <laughs> All right, everybody, and like always. Oh, real quick, uh, we will be taking a break, so we will see you. I think in two weeks. So, like always, until next time. Some more salami, dude. I wanted some more. I wanted to ask, but I didn't want to like interrupt the flow to process. You mind if I dip on a couple of you little bad boys? <laughs> hey, Glenn, please don't cut that part out. Go for it.